Very, very important and a special meeting. The Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida is in India. He is on a two-day visit to the country. Uh, a lot on agenda. My colleague Rishabh joining us with the details of what's expected today. Uh, Rishabh, this is a very important meeting because it comes at a crucial juncture of the Indo-Pacific uh, relations. The agenda today is likely to be defense and trade. Definitely. If you see uh, the way uh, India and Japan have sent its bilateral relationship in past few years, be it uh, between India and uh, Japan or on multinational forums like Quad or uh, other uh, uh, defense exercises, including Malabar, we have seen that India and uh, Jap uh, Japan have come together. This visit by the Japanese Prime Minister is very important. You can see uh, the warmth that uh, can be felt between the Prime Minister of India and Prime Minister of Japan uh, here in New Delhi. What's on agenda? If I can just point out a few things for uh, viewers. Uh, number one, uh, energy is definitely on agenda. Then there's strategic partnership between India and Japan. When it comes to Indo-Pacific, remember, uh, in Indo-Pacific, China has been asserting itself in past few years. And uh, Japan uh, believes that that is a major threat to Indo-Pacific uh, peace and tra tranquility. We have seen the way uh, the Japan, uh, China and Taiwan are on uh, uh, was on a brink of uh, war when the U.S. Uh, uh, you know uh, head of uh, Senate visited uh, uh, Taiwan last year. So the way all this is, so China remains the big elephant in the room that will be discussed. Energy, food security will be on agenda, and the strategic partnership that uh, India and Japan share that will definitely be discussed. Apart from that, we also need to understand that India is presiding over the G20. This year, while Japan is presiding over the G7 summit, and uh, G7 summit is uh, slated to be uh, taking place in Japan in the month of May. So a formal invitation for G7 will also be extended by the Japanese Prime Minister to Indian Prime Minister. Yes, so Rishab, the two sides are expected to focus on enhancing cooperation in a range of areas, including, like you mentioned, defense and security, trade, investments, high technologies as well. Uh, the Japanese Prime Minister has a short visit in the country, but as we've been discussing, it's a very significant one because it comes at a time when there are a lot of challenges that the uh, world is facing. And, uh, you know, India has assumed the presidencies of the G7 as well as the G20. Uh, uh, G7 Japan and G20 uh, India. So, talking about the relation of India and Japan and renewing these ties. Definitely. If you see, uh, you know, um, uh, the Indo-Pacific remains the focal point. Uh, we have seen that how China's budget for uh, defense has gone as high as 2.25 billion uh, this year and uh, the way China is uh, getting closer to Russia and is uh, as we are speaking, uh, Chinese uh, Premier uh, Chinese President uh, Xi Jinping is on, on in his on his uh, state visit to Moscow, and there is a new bloc developing there where Belarus, uh, Russia, as well as China are coming together. So this showcases that in Indo-Pacific, uh, China will assert itself further more, uh, and that's the cause of worry for uh, countries like Japan and yes. Korea. And we'll have to see how things unfold, but definitely a very strategic and important visit by the Japanese Prime Minister to India. Right. So the Japanese Prime Minister will unveil his plan for free and open Indo-Pacific with a focus on India's increasing significant role in this region. Rishabh, thank you for joining us with those details.